Hi guys, in this lesson we will create another Python Panda state analysis project by using uh, the Pandas library and all the ones. The dataset will be about movies, so we will analyze its dataset and give you a full description of how to clean, manipulate, analyze, group and visualize the dataset. We will create lots of charts and explain in detail what's going to happen in this lesson. Stay tuned and subscribe to our videos to catch this existing content. Also make sure to check all other videos to learn or to go deeper into the data science field. So let's start with this project and create a new file called movies underscore project. Movies underscore project. Okay, I will. I have already installed all the libraries and explained in this home site project uh, how should you install them. And if you haven't installed, just look at this uh, tutorial. I will just give a link to this project in the description below from where you can just install all these libraries. If you don't know how to do it, just go there. But we have already installed and I will import all of them. Import the first one will be, will be the pandas library, pandas spd. The second one will be matplotlib import mat matplotlib pyplot library. The name will be splt. Then we will move on to the import numpy. Also will be needed as np. And for our tree map, we will need the express plotly plotly express library for the tree map as px alias okay i have already installed all of them and now uh, we will need to do what import the data set df df equals to pd red csv the file name will be what it is located here inside of my data folder called movies.csv so i will type in the inside of the data folder i will type it the movies movies csv and print out the first five rows of this data okay and you could see that let's print out even the three rows okay and you could see that it would have uh, like the columns and rows and the data will look a bit messy but we will just get acquainted with our data first df shape and see how many rows and columns does it have you could see it has 10,866 uh, 800, 800, rows and 21 columns but we will not use all of these columns in this lesson we will just pick up some of them including the numeric ones and the string text uh, columns and also we'll create another column uh, a couple of columns for uh, best manipulating okay but to remove the already existing unnecessary columns here okay if i just type in the df columns uh, it will print out all these column names okay in your data set so we need to drop them off uh, a couple of one will be dropped but before dropping i will just check it uh, the null values if they are already exist right now you could see yes some of these um, columns have null values which will be dropped or cleaned and but we will do it later don't worry First, I will just drop unnecessary columns and then we will deal with these null values, okay? In order to drop them, I will just type in the df drop and the column names will be equals to what? The first one will be id, id and this IBM, I, IMDB ID, okay? We don't need this kind of unique, uh, specific unique uh, uh, rows values because we need to, uh, we will just aggregate these um, columns and rows and we will just get a short overview of this data. We don't need specific rows. That's why we will just get rid of all of them. ID will be the first one. IMDB will be the second one, okay? then mm, the next column will be what we don't need we don't need the home page home page column because this column contains this kind of urls we don't need it then of course uh, cast and tagline overview as like these ones don't need it 
okay so I will just type in after the home page I will type in the cast will be deleted then um, overview or tagline first tagline and then overview okay and even these as the last values budget and revenue ads we don't need them okay so I will drop them out here and work on the on the remaining columns okay I will just uh, after assigning these columns I need to add in the parameter called in place equals to true and click on shift enter and it will drop out all these uh, columns here you could see <clears throat> or data starts with popularity and ends with the revenue okay so and now now we need to do what we need to um, work on this data so how we will work on this data or analyze this data first I will again check in the null values is null because these values these values would give us some errors so we need to give uh, get rid of all of them you could see we have uh, four columns here uh, it contains null values okay some of them will be dropped and some of them will be just replaced okay I will uh, drop these uh, call uh, rows for director and generous columns which contains any end values because we don't need any Mm, informa information without this director or generous okay so in order to drop them out I will just type in the DF drop now drop now and uh, type in the whole for example whole equals to any by default it uh, it will just uh, we can't even type it like that but by default it will just take out this parameter like any because we need to drop the these rows and uh, NAN value which contains NAL values in, in the director column for all the columns okay so it will just drop them all so that's why we will just type in any and the subset subset will be equals to the name of the columns which columns genders and mm, the next one will be uh, the director okay director so if I just click shift enter and just run it again uh, it will not drop it out why because we need to do what assign the in place true parameter here so make it permanent in place equals to true click shift enter and again click it okay you could see director and generous uh, have been assigned to zero so it means that it does not have any null values but we have more keywords and production companies columns which contain any values but these values will be replaced to zero because we don't want to drop this kind of information for all the columns or specific column here so in order to drop them we will just type in the name of the column the first one will be production companies okay df production companies equals to df production companies and fill the method will be benefited here fill with zero the same in the same way we will do for the keywords column so I will add in the keywords like this one copy paste it for this and click on shift enter and run it again and you can see that uh, the null values will be dropped for all the columns and we don't have any end values here now we are open to do what manipulate a bit data or analyze it or clean it if we have some other issues you could see that we have popularity column with these um, decimal points so in order to get rid of these decimal points we need to add in df popularity popularity equals to again the name of the column and will be rounded to two okay click shift enter 
and now if I just check it the data frame again you could see that it would round up these uh, values for the popularity column okay now I will create two more columns here for the profit and ROI means uh, return of interest okay how should I do it I will just create the first one I will just type in the DF like insert method insert and type in the which positions do we want to insert after third one okay I will just type in the three and what we are going to insert or the name of the column will be profit and what we are going to insert we will insert the subtraction of these two columns okay we will subtract the budget from the revenue and that that will be the profit so in order to subtract I will just type in the DF revenue minus the DF uh, budget okay this will be the profit if I just click shift enter and again call it the data, data set you could see it will create the profit column and subtract the budget from the revenue column and the value will be assigned to this column here okay I will create one more column called return of interest by typing the DF insert again insert the position will be for the name of the column will be ROI and uh, the value of the column will be df profit profit divide to the df budget okay budget is divided by the profit will be the return of interest okay so i can click shift enter and just check the data set again here run it you could see that it will create the return of interest okay uh, here you can see that all it all also has what as a decimal uh, uh, numbers we will do the same ROI for the as we have done for the popularity column we will just round it to two okay and print it out you can see that our data looks better right now okay now I can open to visualize it the first one uh, we will provide some of this information by using specific numeric columns and just create a histogram out of them in order to create it I will just type in the new variable name which will hold the new data set okay the data set will be mainly the numeric data which will be out of this data set okay the first one will be popularity column popularity because we will need to uh, give an information about the short overview of this numeric data what's going to happen for each specific column here popularity will be first budget will be the second then uh, revenue will come revenue also profit is which can assign the profit return of interest also is interesting for us and then uh, we will type in the word count even word count you could see we have a word count here after return of interest if we'll just shift to the right we have word count word average release year okay all of them will be assigned here word average and release year release year okay I have assigned them and also we should add in the DF here because we are making it out of DF okay now I can assign it or create the histogram df1 hist hist beans beans equals to 20 20 and figure size will be uh, equals to um, let's just type in the 14 and 12 let's check it out what will it print uh -huh, it has printed out the error and some charts I think yes it has printed clearly these uh, columns up to the profit point but uh, the error I uh, is not printed here why what's the problem let's just check it mm, DF error I or even is null first 
and we shall check if there are some null values or infinite finite values inside the okay return of interest has a, of course null values uh, because we have created a new uh, newly and now if we just check it we need to uh, as it has just said the error is in the finite and with finite we should just convert them with the speci specific value okay the value counts will be different for example df roi value counts value counts just pay attention what kind of values does it have you could see it has infinite values here minus values so we need to just um, convert all of them to the nan values in order to print out the histogram okay the just it is uh, in puns this is often done as a pre-processing step uh, to handle data that may contain this kind of infinite values uh, because this uh, cause issues in certain computations or visualizations okay so we should check it out if non finite we should type in the non for that specific column non finite values values equals to this sign this sign and np will be from the numpy and added is finite we will just convert or pick up all the finite and infinite values okay inside of df roi okay and then i will just click shift enter and if i just sum them up you could see that they are there should be some values here you could see there are a bunch of values so we need to just replace them if roi equals to df roi and the replace method here with the replace method i will add in the np np dot inf uh, this one for the positive numbers and this one for the ne negative ones i and v okay we will replace that with np and then so i will just click shift enter and for df1 histogram we will just because df1 is getting uh, we are getting df1 from this df we should rerun it again and after this one i will just run them first and then run this one again df1 okay and then just type it df1 hist here and this should print it out okay you could see that we have converted them and replaced them i can even i add in the plt show click shift enter it will just create uh, the charts the bar charts for each specific columns numeric columns here okay what is uh, actually it means now considering the popularity call we will just take an example as a popularity i will just type in the df popularity popularity and value counts here value counts okay let's just check it out you could see that it has uh, lots of counts with 0 0.14 190 counts with 0 0.28 186 counts with 0 0.25 21 and if we take a look at the popularity chart it will just print out 10,000 row from this 0 to up to the 10 okay and if we just take a look at the values we can clearly see that lots of the values are between 0 and 1 okay that's why it will just count them up and bring up the statistic it just um, it will, this will display the distribution of these values into the these bins in the 20 bins each bin represents a range of values and the height of each bar in the histogram corresponds to the uh, frequency or count of values falling within that range range okay and that's why we should do what mm, print it out and visualize uh, and also see the differences between these segments okay between these mm, columns okay now we will move on to the second data frame we will just plot it out first i will just group it and create the second chart df2 will be what we are going to do first first i will just uh, come back to the default data set that we have already cleaned okay and go to the release year okay i am interested in the release year and return of interest here so i will need to do what 
first type in the df2 variable and group the data group by based on what based on this release year release year and return of interest okay and then i will just if i just count them first let's just count them or something and type in the df2 again here you could see that it will just sum up all these values the return of interest values for each specific year here and let's just have a look at the data set df mm, head one or two let's see a return of interest in nine and we have ten thousand rows and for each specific release year it will group this return of interest and sum them up but the summing result will be a bit inefficient uh, because it will just sum up these values and there might be lots of uh, just uh, releasing years and but the pref pref or but the efficiency efficiency will not be dependent on the number of ye years or on the number of movies we will need to that's why assign the mean okay because we will need to find in the average return of interest based on the year okay if i just type in the mean it will just print out the mean for each specific year here okay you could see that this range has lots of return of interest here uh, i can even just um, prove it first i will just visualize it df1 2 i will just type in the plot here df2 plot plot and type it a kind equals to line plot kind sorry kind equals to line if i just click shift enter okay you could see that there will be a huge gap here uh, if i just take a look at this uh, grouped data again we could clearly see that for this specific uh, range the value is a bit higher for this one is extremely higher okay 1985 you could see this is the huge spark which is shown here okay and now i will just delete it i don't need it so now we will check the popularity of movies over over years so we will just type in the df and group by to the third we will assign to the third variable df Mm, group by group by group by they will just check in the what uh, release year release year and the popularity which year is more popular for the uh, releasing uh, films or movies popularity okay we will just group it and then i will do what first just type it like sum or i will just after grouping it print it out tf3 let's just check what it okay let's just plot it tf3 plot plot kind kind equals to line What will it print? Okay, this will just be a strange. So I will just add in the sum of values, sum of the popularity for each specific year here. Adding it like that. And you could see that this will print out this line chart for each specific year. You could see that there is a huge gap between this uh, 1960 and 2020. Okay, the, from 20 thousand uh, the popularity of movies has been increased uh, dramatically here so we can just of course customize it a little bit we will just add in the labels here if you want for example after plotting it i can add in the plt x label label equals to year year <coughs> And font size will be font size will be what 12 okay then 
plt while label while label will be what mm, popularity 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 and then we can do what just change the name or the the color even color my type in the color equals to red if i just click shift enter you could see that it will just change the labels and the color of the line chart itself okay this is the popularity over the over the years here this is the year and this is one is the popularity this one okay it will just sum it up for each specific year here okay now for the fourth one we will check the rating of movie over the years i will just copy it again and change a couple of things here for uh, movies df4 for example df4 group by again release year but here we will check the rating of movie over the years the rating so what is the rating here world average okay this will be the rating so i will just type in the world average here and here most of the people most of the people visualize it as count or sum but we need to think about what we are going to print let's just uh, keep it like sum for the first time you could see that this result will be the same as this one okay but uh, and that will not be the uh, right way of visualizing it because we need to when it just sums it sums it it just counts them and the chart will be the same because the number of years uh, are for example a lot for each specific um, world average so we don't need to be printed it uh, based on the quantity we need to print it based on the average okay if i just type in the mean here and click shift enter Mm, it should change it because we should add in the df4 here and you can see how will it change this is the mm, means that the average is decreasing because people are being for example intimidated or distracted as these are more and more uh, they are the more television shows and it becomes old-fashioned that's why the world average is decreasing by each year okay that's why we should put in the mean here so we will change the color name again we'll don't uh, just touch it and here instead of the popularity i will just type in the rating okay rating Let's just enter and this is the result okay now we will show how popularity and what average are related uh, to each other and uh, it means that how the what average is dependent on the popularity okay so i will create the df5 df5 and uh, create the scatter plot here by typing the plot scatter scatter the x will be what popularity the y will be what average this is all of them are the column names here okay don't be confused uh, here is the popularity column names this one and this one is the what average okay and we will just uh, take a look at the similarities or how they will be related to each other okay so i will just type in the word average average and even the color will be the green and the figure size figure size will be for example six to four okay if i just type in the click shift enter it will just say that position argo false keyword argument just add in the y here i forget it and also change it to commas okay click shift enter and from here we could clearly see that 
the vote average is not dependent on the popularity here okay when the vote average is uh, higher uh, the, it does not mean that uh, there is no necessity for the popularity okay of that film okay the popularity might be lower but the war uh, average is still at a high level here okay that's why and sometimes the scatter plots will be very um, handy for us and now I will I can even uh, customize it a little bit I will just add in the the F5 uh, the labels are defined a little bit different X label popularity and then color will be color will be dark red okay just click shift enter okay this is the popularity and also for the label uh, y label i will type in set y label y label and just add in the what popularity as it is okay and the word average instead of the popularity what average and i will add in the title here the f5 set title the title will be popularity popularity uh, versus what average okay and the font size will be equals to 17 okay and now we need to create another um, chart we need to split up the column group the data frame for example if i just type it the f gender we will work on the genres and the popularity where the genres here this one okay but this has a generous column has like this is uh, called splitters here okay and we, if we want just to print it out uh, print out the popularity of movies by genres uh, we need to split them up first and then just make the statistic or analyzing but before that it will be um, incorrect way of doing it i will just give you um, an explanation df genders you could see if i just type in the genders value counts value counts click shift enter you could see that it will have will have drama comedy documentary drama romance at once at once and some of them would have the romance here comedy here but this would not be counted for example if i have a drama here it will would not be counted as this drama okay that's why it will just show up the improper statistic okay improper just fact or result so that's why i need to first split them and then just convert or convert the information about this uh, gen uh, keyword pop generous popularity okay about the popularity based on the genders okay in order to split them up this column i need to first add in just the split variable here equals to for example pick up the generous column generous and then add in the for i in split this loop i will just define the i itself equals to the i and split it or apply type in the apply lambda with lambda we could do, do what x split it x split based on what based on the separator like this one this one okay and now if i just print out the result the f head it will split up those rows where the d not d df 
click shift enter and you could see that these uh, values are being splitted here okay and now I will do what I will just create uh, each row for these specific values in order to count them okay this will be the proper way for example the popularity 32.99 will be uh, equal to all of these genders to actions separately to adventure to science to fictions so that's why I need to assign this value for all of these uh, columns uh, or for all of these rows okay in order to assign this one value for all of these uh, rows values I will need to just explode it first okay and then group it uh, because explode will just uh, split it into the four rows with this same uh, popularity value or all these values for each value here okay so in order to explode equals to uh, df explode explode what column we want to explode the genders genders and print out print it out you could see that it will print out each specific row for each value inside of the generous column here okay this row has been divided to four parts for each specific value okay for the action adventure science fiction and thriller it has uh, pre or created uh, separate rows in order to aggregate it okay so now we are open to group it df7 equals to df group by group by um, generous i will group it by generous and add in the popularity popularity okay and sum them up if i just type it like that you could see that this would so i can even sort them out sort values mm. ascending would be what true from the smallest to the highest ascending equals to true okay the highest will be what the drama the lowest will be foreign okay now it has after splitting them up it will just freely count it without problems and print out the result now you can do what print it out or visualize it uh, df7 plot plot mm, let's just uh, visualize it to the horizontal bars bar h bar h this means horizontal okay and now the x will be generous column and y will be popularity okay popularity okay because this df7 already contains these values okay i can even check it here after splitting i will just take a look here if i just click shift enter so you could see that it will print it out without problems so i can change the color here um, by typing the color equals to red and the figure size will be 12 6 okay and you can see that the so now I will just extract the popularity of movies for each month. If I just print all the data set here again, uh, click shift enter. You could see that we have a kind of release date uh, column with the popularity again. So in order to uh, just extract the months from this date we first need to convert the data type of this date into the date time if i just check the d types of all columns we could clearly see that the data type of the release date is object but we should convert this to the date okay before uh, extracting the mouse because we want to visualize based on the mouse so in order to um, convert the data type 
we need to first type in the df the name of the column will be the release date here release date okay equals to df again release date and uh, i think that pd this will be the proper way of doing it to uh, date time date time and here will be the, the name of the column itself if i click shift enter i think that this should convert it okay yes we have converted this uh, column data type and if i just change check it again you could see that the data type has been converted to with the dash here okay previously it was with slash and now i can extract the month from this date okay for each specific uh, for each specific row for example if i just type in the first five rows and check in the data type release uh, column date we will extract this month from this column okay and based on the month we will just check in the popularity of those columns in order to extract the month i will just type in the df a uh, new column we can do it in the same column but i will create a new column called uh, df extracted mouse equals to what mm, df release release date date and will be what dt dt mouse okay we will extract it to a new column if i just call the data frame again df head click shift enter it will create a new column extracted mouse and extract this mouse to this okay column okay you can see six five three three twelve twelve four four okay so now i can easily group it df8 equals to df group by group by what extracted months based on what popularity so we will sum up the popularity and type in the sum okay and if i just print out the f8 you could see that this will print out the uh, sum of popularity for each specific month i can even easily plot it plot it but before plotting i will just show you the right way of doing it if I plot it like that line uh, like that or bar does not matter let's pick up bar you could see that this will print the result but uh, we need to specify the name of the mouse here because we don't have any mouse names here. in order to specify the name of the mouse we need to create the new data frame and assign each mouse to a specific value here Okay, how we should do this i will first uh, just delete it i don't need it here i will just re keep it like that so in order to create it i will just type in the data equals to for example um, extracted months will be this extracted months the name of the column does not matter it could be anything you like because we are just uh, extracting or assigning it from scratch okay df extracting mouse will be df index index will be what if i just type in df8 index this will print out these numbers the months values or names of the months okay in all cases these are the numbers so i need those numbers for the extract mouse so i will just type in the df8 index okay and for values for values and values in our k will be popularity popularity will be what the values the f8 and the values just type it the values okay i can easily type it the df values here and this should print all these numbers okay the values okay and now after creating the data frame we could assign it to the df I will just type it the df8 equals to pd dot data frame adding the data here data this variable here and create the data frame okay if i just print it out df8 this will print out 
specific um, values for each month okay and now i can easily map the dictionary uh, from index to the month's name okay in order to do this i will just add in the index to months months equals to uh, first will be january january then February January then 2 February 3 December okay now after signing all of them I will map it df8 uh, extracted mounts extracted mounts mounts equals to what df8 extracted mounts again this one map map If you will see df8 is this one okay this data frame and we will pick up this column extract the mouse equals to to the map map what mm, i will just add in this one index to months okay click shift enter name index to is not defined because we haven't run it we will run it first and then run it again and if i just add in this df8 here you could see that all of them are being changed and now I can do what? Visualize it. DF8 plot plot uh, kind equals to bar x equals to extracted months. This column months and y would be popularity. popularity okay this has printed out okay you could see all these bar plots with values and these months names we could just even change the color here color equals to dark blue or dark blue okay you will see it has been changed and now in the same way we could create the revenue of movies like this one okay like this one we could create the revenue so in order to do this i will just type it the df9 for df9 equals to df group by i will just copy it from here i will copy the popularity here df9 equals to df group by extract amounts and instead of popularity i will just add in the revenue here revenue okay and i have grouped them out and if i just type it the df9 you will see that this will be the revenue for each specific month okay and now i will just copy it this one index months or this one first data frame i will copy in here and instead of extracted mounts uh, or popularity i will just type it the revenue revenue and instead of df8 i will just type in df9 and df9 here okay and then i am going after creating the data frame i will just again use this index to mounts here no need there is already here i will just copy it here click on the run like this one df9 equals to run and then again the name of the mounts here and map it as it is 
we have mapped it here and we will map it here df9 extracted mounts equals to the, instead of 8 I will just type in the 9 okay and after extracting it if I just type it the df9 here I will, I will forget to run it run run and run you could see the revenue is being changed with extracting mounts and now I am open to visualize it like this one df plot nine equals to plot kind of ego equals to bar x extracted months one y will be revenue revenue and the color dark blue we can even add in the plt equal title title equals to revenue by months revenue by months and also we can x label add in plt add an x label calling revenue and y label calling months and add in the plt show okay and you can see this will print out the revenue by months although this was the popularity by months you could see here is the difference okay the most popular month for revenue was june uh, while for popularity was this, uh, september okay and now we can get the top 10 movie with high profit okay how we should do this df10 equals to i will first group it i will just type in the data set here df head and like df Head. where is the movie title uh, original title here this one I will just print it out and based on this original title we will group it be, uh, profit okay so I will just add in the DF group by group by uh, original title original title and add in the profit here profit and sum of course So let's check it out what will it print column not found profit why uh, this column has no profit because I haven't run all these cells here mm, spe specifically I might refresh this yeah Jupyter notebook so you can refresh it too if you have refreshed it you can just add in uh, can you can just type in the here profit run it run it and go back here and you can see you have uh, different uh, movies here and you can sort it values sort values and ascending will be sending will be false I want to print out the popular movies here okay the titles popular titles are Avatar Star Wars the Ford Awakens Titanic Titanic and etc so I will just plot the pie chart okay out of them and define this to the df10 okay variable df10 so out of df10 I will create the pie chart by typing the most let's pick up the first five movies head five okay this one okay I will print them out as a percentage df10 plot plot kind equals to pi pi and I will print them after PCT as percentage signs equals to uh, 1.1 1 .1 decimals okay and then 
star uh, star angle equals to 90 let's shift it out you can see that this will print out and the pie chart and based on the values uh, it will pop up the popularity or the profit of the each movie here okay let's just try to modify it a bit i can modify it by typing the color colors equal plt uh, cm pair colors Paired colors okay, shift enter you will say this looks better and add in the title by type typing top five top five movies by profit and the color will be red okay okay top five movies by profit also i can um, visualize another pie chart based on the production companies um, so how should i do this first if i just check it out click shift enter where the production companies here i just want to print out the top five production companies this one okay so i will first just try to um, check it out and uh, how many production company and which one which ones are the most important ones df production companies companies value counts counts if i check it you could see that the most popular ones are these ones paramount pictures universal etc so i need the head five the most popular five and assign it to the df 11 and of course print it okay and now i can easily visualize it again i will just pick it this one i can instead of 11 i will just type in uh, 10 i will type in 11 everything is right colors no need to add in these colors okay and then if I just comment it out this will print out the result okay the most popular as you could see is the Paramount Pictures but I will just try to modify it for a little bit I will add in the labels I will just remove the labels here labels equals no let's see yes and add the add the legend here um, legend by typing plt sync plt legend legend and the labels here will be labels here will be what index call these indexes if i just type in the df11 index this will print out the names of these column okay so i will type in the df11 index index like this one and then location will be upper left or upper right shift enter okay that looks good and then i will just add in the what the figure size here plot the figure size from for kind just for plotting this i will just add it here figure size if i just increase the figure size i think that this should solve the problem of overlapping it figure size equals to let's see this 13 and 6 mm figure size equals to yes comma okay it hasn't removed it mm. 
I think that we should make it 16. No. Uh, there is a solving. There is a solving solution for this. We should add in PLT axis. PLT axis. Axis equals to equal. This should solve the problem. Yes, you could see. And now I will just decrease the size, like 13 or 12. Okay, and remove these labels. PLT show, and I can even do what? Mm. Let's make it 13 and uh, just make these labels, the distance, uh, make them out of this range, okay? And now I will just uh, remove or relocate these percentage signs to the out, outer side, okay, of this chart. So I will just add in the PCT distance, PCT distance equals to, um, let's add in one, one, okay, 1.14, okay, and you could see it looks better right now, what we would need, also I can easily um, even uh, make it a bit uh, highlighted or separate the line, the piece of line that I like here by typing what explode by adding the explode list here. I can easily highlight the portion that I like from this list. So I will just add in, for example, zero. How many values do we have? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, right? I will just add in the comma for each one. And now, if I just add in the explode list here, explode list, explode equals to what? This list, this will be the explode list. And one of them will be highlighted. Let's pick up the second one. I will just add in the 0 0.04, okay, explode equals to explode list, if I just add it here and check it, you could see that this part has been uh, highlighted and separated from this pie chart, okay, this is also very mm, good to know. And now I will do what? I will create a tree map and find out the most popular used key keywords. Okay. So if I just try to find them up, the popular keywords, this was the production companies. And this was, mm, yes. So how to find the keywords? I will again add in the DF head, uh, finding the keyword column here, keyword. df keywords okay you could see that we have a column called keywords maybe it's not seen here or we have haven't seen it we should just type in the most popular keywords okay so in order to type it i will just first create a df um, keywords value counts okay and check their values, value counts, the most popular keywords from here. Okay, you could see woman director, independent field, these are the most popular keywords. So I will just uh, print out the first 15 keywords here, like 15. You could see woman director, independent field, these are the most common uh, keywords here. And in order to and visualize them in order to visualize them i will add in the data frame again 
and create it on a tree map so in order to create a tree uh, data frame i have already done it here i will just copy this one come back here and the data keywords will be keywords will be the df12 index you can see this is the df uh, keywords i will assign it to the df12 okay and print it out df12 and if i just type it the df12 index this will be the indexes okay so i will print the index as a keyword here and the value will be value will be what what we will print it out is their counts okay the f on a uh, 12 values will be their counts if i just type it values you can see these counts are printed out so i will just type in the df uh, 12 values okay and assign to the df12 again to the data frame I run it and run the data frame itself again you could see these are the popular keywords and now i will create the tree map by typing the fig variable px library tree map df12 path will be equals to name of the first column will be keywords this one this will be the path okay and the second one will be values the name of the column or the value will be value this one okay and i will just type in the fig show and this should create the tree map for us okay it's just loading it and you can see it has created a tree map for us okay i think that that's it for now thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel have a good day bye